Welcome back friends. Today we're talking about camera lens maintenance and cleaning. And whether you're a professional or an amateur, your ability to maintain your lens is just as important as your ability to use your lens. I've talked to some of the world's best photographers and gathered a few tips and techniques to show you guys how to make your lens perform like it's brand new. Today we're looking at this little zoom lens and we're gonna go through and make sure every aspect of it is working just like new. And I'm also gonna be giving away this lens to one of you lucky viewers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to be entered for your chance to win. So now let's jump in and check out some of the tools and techniques that are available to us. So here's some tools that you might recognize from just general stuff that you do with your lenses. We've got our dust blower, we've got a lens pen, and our trusty old microfiber lens cloth. Sure, these can be used to clean your lens, but I'm going to show you a couple different tips and tricks today that you've probably never seen. So first what I like to do is just do kind of a, a general inspection of the lens kind of check the connections and just really make sure they're nice and clean. And because this is a zoom lens, it does have a lot of moving parts and we want to make sure it's nice and smooth, both the zoom ring and the focus ring. And over time, of course, things wear down and sometimes it can be a little bit stiff. So what I love to do is just actually take a little bit of my favorite penetrating lube right here. And what you can do is just get set up nicely. And then of course, just pop the top off and just give just a little bit of of lube inside that ring right there and really make sure that we're going to penetrate in and and kind of get everything working really nicely make sure it's all kind of smooth and you can actually even do a little bit on the back side here all the connections are good and spread that around of course and you want a little bit you don't want a heck of a lot just a little bit will do and again make sure you're getting it in there kind of move that around and see how it goes that's great so as you can see, sometimes the lube can be a little bit pesky and get where it shouldn't be. So you really want to make sure you wipe off the excess oil out of your lens. So what I recommend is actually just giving it a nice little bath. Take that nice water, get some soap that's going to allow it to get rid of some of that grease. And then just quickly, because it's not fully weather sealed, it is weather resistant. We just want to give it a quick rinse, that's all. Just really get it in there. Make sure it's, you know, you don't want to swim with this thing, but of course we want to make sure that that it really does get rid of most of that grease. And when you're satisfied, just grab a towel or a cloth and pat it dry. So as you probably know, with a lot of lenses, moisture can be a problem over time. And we really don't want to have moisture inside the lens. That can lead to fungus and all sorts of nasty things. So we have to really make sure that we get all that moisture out of there. And there's a great solution for that. So maybe you didn't know, but we've actually got a lot of resources in our own house. And the next step is getting rid of this moisture and all that fungus and nasty stuff out of our lens. And to do that, we're gonna actually gonna throw it into this oven here at about 350 for about 20 minutes. And stay reasonable on the temperature. You don't wanna go crazy and melt the thing. But here we go, let's throw it in. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. Let's check this thing out and move on to the next step. So after we baked it for about 20 minutes, we got our lens again back on our table. And I think I might've used the wrong soap because there is a little bit of moisture still in there, a little bit of bubbles, but I'm sure that's fine, which I really hope because I do have a gig with this thing in a few hours. Let's just move forward and check the, the front lens element. So we'll give it a nice wipe just to make sure it's clean. And actually, if we look closely here, there's just a little bit of a ding in there. What I want to do is actually get rid of that scratch. And we use that by using our, our lens pen in this one. So we've got it clean and nice and really trying to buff out that little, that little scratch there. Can you see it? And you can see that kind of helped maybe a little bit, but not 100%. If we can't get rid of that little piece there, we kind of have to average it out. We have to really kind of make it consistent across the whole lens. And to do that, I like to kind of give it a look uh, that's consistent, like I said. So I like to take a little bit of sandpaper and kind of choose which one is best for you. So we're gonna kind of take that sandpaper and maybe find that little scratch and then just kind of just a little bit just kind of try and buff it out a little bit. And I think that's working. 
So there you go, that looks kind of nice. And what we'll do is we'll take our, our fine sandpaper, our 2000, we're gonna go over that same place and really try to get it consistent. Do the whole thing even. You can lean into it a bit, and that's really nice. And then maybe use our, our lens pen a little bit. We'll look at that, and you can start to see that moisture is going away already. Either that or we just kind of covered it up. That's perfect. Now we've got a nice kind of even lens. It looks good. Connections are good. And if you want, you can even take a little bit of that sandpaper. Yeah, beautiful. That looks good. Get that connection nice and clean. Perfect. So yeah, there's a bit of moisture in there still. I'm sure that's gonna go. But you know what? It is performing well. You can see that. And the next step is to just go out and throw it on the camera and test it out. Let's do it. Okay, so we've done some maintenance. We've got the thing back and it looks uh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And so what's left to do now is just throw it on the camera, I guess, and, and take a few test shots. Let's, let's do it. Well, there it is. That's how not to clean a lens. Just a little bit of fun today. I hope you liked this video and if you did, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Drop your questions and comments down below. I probably won't be giving away that lens after all, but I will be giving away one of my limited edition signed prints. If that's of interest to you, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button for your chance to be entered. Like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.